okay. So, uh, yeah, game crashed, and I had to restart my computer. What the fuck? I hope this isn't, like, indicative of some other problem on my PC, because for lately, games have been dropping. Uh, like, like this game has been starting to cause me problems lately. Black Mesa, for some fucking reason, has started crashing on load. Like, it's really weird. I keep my computer pretty clean, but uh, I don't know. I hope this is, again, not uh, a prelude to something worse. So let's try this again and jump in without further delay. Let's try. I said, let's try. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe what the fuck is going on right now. This is, like, nuts. Like, the game just don't want to, like, go. I don't know what's going on. This is very strange. I might have to just say fuck it tonight and go straight into Onimusha 3. Oh, there it goes. God. Don't don't toy with my emotions, Senran, okay? Marvelous. I've got a whole series of games that I have to stream, okay? Not just this one. So, I mean, I don't want to... Don't make me regret fucking starting this series, please. For the love of God. Please. Just, just play nice. That's all I ask. Play nice. Ugh. Yes, we know. Please, in the name of God, and all that is holy, do not crash. Thank you. Okay, so, everyone's depressed now. Because Pinkie Pie and half... You get the idea. Alright, so. Okay, so, the last... Please don't crash. Please, I, I, I just want... Okay, thank you, I just want to play the game. Please. I don't even know where I was. It's like... Oh, no, we're on... Ch oh, that's chapter two. This is three. Okay. What is this? Habari's still unaccounted for. Perhaps she was taken captive. We must have faith in her ability to stay alive. Okay, cool. So this is where I was last time. Okay, so let's see what this fucking Benedict Arnold is doing right now. She's not gonna fit in. She's too cutesy for all of these... Hardcore mean ninjas. About three years ago, the city's famous sightseeing attraction, the Castle Keep Ruins, was closed in the name of preserving cultural heritage. Now, here I am looking up at it. My thoughts blur. Oh, they did. It's like, it's it's super secret ninja school. So they just said, ah, it's closed. Abandoned. Don't go in. No urbexing, please. Thank you. The Hibijo stronghold is in the most obvious place in the city. No one would ever think real shinobi could still be here today, but here they are, hiding in plain sight. Ever since I transferred to Hibijo, Haruka's been really nice, like a whole different person. Ugh, she giggles at me. Friends. I did agree to transfer here. Still, I could never think of Haruka or the others as friends. Yet that's what she just called me. That brings out a whole lot of very uncomfortable feelings. The school accept accepted me without a second thought, but to actually be treated as one of them, it's shocking. I figure the Habijo students were all a bunch of loners too cool for friends. My thoughts are in a sickening whirl as Haruka gives me the tour. There are four different areas inside. The first is Northgate Square. Gravel's been laid down throughout the area, which is so big that a five-lane, 100-meter track could fit inside. Holy shit. <laughs> she stomps on the gravel underfoot. Where are they going to be, like, like a bunch of, like, underlings, like, holding up the gravel one, one at a time? I hear a faint voice groaning beneath us. Oh, I knew it! 
she bellows at the ground, then stomps several more times. This is where we train for- Oh, okay, yeah, so they're all, like, disguised as the ground, but it's not- Okay. I gaze at the gravel laid on the ground. Now that I look, I see about 20 subtle little lumps here and there. Oh god, after 45 minutes, I'm done. Oh, fuck off, I quit. As she says that, she passes under the north gate. I have to rush to keep up with her. It opens up to the main hall area with a garden and a passage separated by trees. We can see the castle keep directly ahead, but a high wall stands in the way. We'd have to go around to the west gate to actually reach it. There's a long bridge in the south gate area. It extends from afar to the south all the way to the castle keep. As we look out over the bridge, I notice bubbles popping in and out of the water. There's a bamboo pipe swaying down there. A shinobi student must be practicing the water escape technique. What? Haruka flings a kunai. Blood billows in the water. The wounded student comes floating up. Oh my god! Jeez. The student crawls to shore, then bows before Haruka. Ah, God. As I follow Haruka, I sense something, someone watching me. I look around, but there's no one there. Major. There's something in those trees. Billy, what the hell is wrong with you? Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Predator lately. Uh, Prey, by the way, on Hulu is the tits. That was a really fucking good movie. Anyone who has Hulu or has a friend who has Hulu or um, has any means of watching it, please do. It really needs your support. Dan Trachtenberg did a really good job, and it's a solid entry in the series. Uh, better than Predators, by far. Predators was too quippy for me, and it had, you know, Shane Black went a little too far in the script, and uh, the guy, and also has the guy from K and Peel in it, and it just took me out of the movie. So yeah, uh, bottom line, watch Prey. Good movie. End of tangent. I try to keep a close eye on my surroundings as I chase after her. Inside looks even more luxurious than when it was a tourist spot. There are a ton of Japanese-style rooms with elegant sliding screens. It's hard to tell which way is a dead end and which way will get you where you need to go. Must be structured to confuse invaders. I notice lectures taking place in several rooms. Each class has a lot of students. At Hanzo, we only ever had five at a time. Everyone seems so focused, I can't help but stop and stare. It's the same here. The Hibijo are taught just like we are. It makes sense when you think about it. i just never given it any thought before. The Hibijo students are the enemy. Cold-blooded minions of evil, not like us. Uh, I mean, look, there is no black and white. There's shades of gray. Come on now, you should know this. At least that's how I always thought of them. None of that is really true. The Hibijo and Hanzo Academies aren't that different. They have friends they trust, they study really hard, they live just like any other Shinobi students. For me, that's a shock. It makes me question everything I believed in up until now. Before I know it, we've reached the top floor. <laughs> I snap back to reality and see two shinobi chatting with each other. Without paying me any mind, they keep on chatting away. I don't get what they're talking about, but they keep at it as if Haruka and I aren't there. As Haruka requests, I stick my head out the window. I can see an incredible view of the whole town. I see a bunch of shinobi students training below the castle keep. One group, group is marching while another is working on practice, practical skills. Hibijo has a lot more students than Hanzo Academy, but otherwise it does seem basically the same. That's when it hits me. The only difference between Hibijo and Hanzo Academy is who's employing us. As Shinobi, our business is the same. 
Come to think of it, it's kind of silly for our two schools to be fighting each other in the first place. What is a good shinobi? What is an evil shinobi? These little questions are swelling up inside of me. A little while later, Habijo's other two elites arrive at the top floor with us, one after the other. Homura and the girl who shot Yagyu. I can't let that go, but it was my fault it happened. As I start pondering that again, Haruka talks to the other girls. The girl who shot Yagyu slowly approaches me. Oh! You did it, you little shit! She holds up a kunai. Yeah, 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 shut up. I answer in a rush and Mirai turns her back on me. You little shit! The two who were talking before, Yomi and Hikage, come over. Yomi looks me over, head to toe. She snorts in a ladylike way. Wow. Kage's remark has set her off, and I don't understand why. I timidly call out to Yomi, who's facing away from me. Her expression changes completely. Yomi starts rambling about bean sprouts, eyes shining. Weird thing to be obsessed with. Hikage gives the vaguest hint of a smile. Here, why don't you go bother this bitch for a while? Yomi's sprout talk grows more and more passionate. Omura hops up and hides the super secret ninja art scroll on the ceiling. Then we all exit the upper level room. That could be my chance. If I can get a moment alone, I can take back the scroll. That's why I transfer here to begin with. I don't care if everyone at Hanzo already thinks I'm a traitor. I'll stop at nothing to get the super secret ninja art scroll back. Super secret squirrel secret. If I don't, I can never show my face to them again. Oh, they're gonna set her up. It's called bitch work. I'll be in there alone. This could be it. I jog back up to the top floor. Oh, I don't know. Don't don't be do not be tempted, my child. Just just look, play the long game. Stay there for like two years. And just when everyone's like super cool with you and they think like, yep, she's one of us now, there's no way. Then you grab it. You don't like do it like the first week. I stare up at the ceiling. The super secret ninja art scroll is right up there. I can grab it in one jump. Don't do it. The question is, what then? How would I get it back to Hanzo Academy without being discovered? I don't have time for this. They'll get suspicious if I take too long. I'll get the scroll first, then work out the rest afterwards. I'm telling you, long game. I fucking knew it. I spin around to meet Haruka's icy stare. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We gonna fight? Is there gonna be a fist? Yeah, we gonna fight. Don't, you're not listening. Long game. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
But I'm not gonna take it. It doesn't. I'm, I'm walking away. Like, it's like. I don't care. God damn it. I don't wanna. Ugh. I, I hate fighting this bitch because, like, the robot just pisses me off nonstop. Oh, God. I, do I really need to do this? Yep, I gotta do it again. No, we're not doing frantic. Screw that. No, not the not the robot. Not I robot. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Oh no, not this again. All right. All right. Okay. Fly. Fly away. Okay, don't get Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Okay. Ooh, okay. Gosh, she's got range. I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm trying to get Oh, you know, I was trying to I'm trying to get items. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in there. It wasn't worth it. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> That's what these most of these streams have been amounting to lately. Is, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please get get out of my face. <laughs> oh my god. This is why you come to the stream, guys. Class A commentary. What the fuck? Oh my Wow, I haven't even I haven't even like put a mark on her yet. I'm, my panties are already hanging out. Yes, a grown man just said that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, butt powers activate. God. No, no, no. No. Yep, fuck it. Let's just get this going. Let's just blow our wad early. Let's just do that. There we go. All right. Well, I'm, like, totally unprepared for this fight mentally. I thought I was just going to be going through visual novel shit for, like, the next 20 minutes. No! And this room is so goddamn small. Okay. Mm, all right. No. No, 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 get away! I'm so not prepared for this fight. She hasn't even transformed yet. That's what's scary. Like, this is just her... This is not even her final form. Well, you're up on the ceiling. Could you just get the art scroll and run? The ninja art scroll? I really didn't want to... I didn't really want to touch that rice ball, but fuck it. I'm already committed. Oh, okay, here we go. No, not that. No, not the robot. Please. Okay. Great. At least now she transforms so I can try. Okay, I don't even... Lock on. Lock on! Lock on, please! Alright, so strike one. Strike one! I gotta lock on. Lock on. Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> Can I get away with it? No, I can't. All right. Can I just, like, butt stop her the entire game? All right. No! 
So to calm my nerves, let me talk about what I've been doing since uh, I've had my time off. Uh, it's been pretty good. I uh, went hiking yesterday for the first time in a while. It was nice. It was uh, like a four-mile hike through a state park that's like a couple of miles from here. And it was really nice. It was like actually like a shaded. It was shaded the whole way through, which is not all very good considering like Florida in August is death. So I was able to get through it with fairly minimal ass sweat. <laughs> I just took like a water break every like, you know, 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes and just, uh, yeah, it was really nice. And it's also like right, the beach is like right there too. So it was like, I want to say like a all hour, 45 minute hike plus like another two hours at the beach. And I just chilled. It's definitely nice to have some like downtime. My job isn't really too stressful, but I haven't gone on a proper vacation in a couple of years. So it's nice just to be able to get away and like, you know, even for like a day. As much as I like... Ooh. Amazing. Ah, now I'm getting happy. <laughs> but it's nice to get away from the computer for a couple of hours and just, like, breathe some air. And actually, you know, go do human things outside of streaming video, anime video games and Photoshop shit. And just, you know, being a fucking shut-in nerd. I would say for a shut-in nerd, nerd, I'm pretty comfortable with being out in the outdoors. I've actually gone camping and kayaking and all sorts of stuff before, so I'm like, I'm not hopeless. I actually go out and, like, do things and, like, and, and be an actual human being. And then there are, like, weeks go by where I just do nothing but video game and stream and do, like, you know, nerd shit. And then there's weeks that come in, like, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. I'm going to go outside. And so, like, I, I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is that, like, every, I try to, like, hedge my bets and change it up every few weeks. Like, for a couple of weeks, I'm like, hey, Kiko Mori. And then for another few couple of weeks, I'm like, you know, rugged outdoorsman. God, I'm starting to kick her ass now. This is kind of nice. Am I finally getting the hang of Hibari and her, and her butt powers? I've also got to go into the dressing room and change her uniform because now she's at Hibijo. And it doesn't make sense for her to be in her, like, dominatrix tactical gear. She can keep the axe, though. No! Fuck off! No, no, I, I am so... You know what, I'm going to take the hits because you're fucked anyway. And you're going to give me a D regardless. Oh, oh that was oh, that was a waste of a special power. That, wonderful. Okay, lock on. Lock on. Come on, lock on. I know I have to put on, like, spectacular fighting shows, but I'm just, like, mashing buttons at this point, like, in a fucking fighting game. I also looked up kayaking. It's expensive. Uh, I actually like... Oh, come on. Well, no. Just hang in there. We're almost done, baby. Come on. We're almost done. Come on. We're almost... We're almost there. Come on. Use your butt powers. But yeah, I was looking up kayaks and just to see... Just to see how much it would cost. A good kayak with oars and a cover. Like a, a decent kayak, not like a piece of shit. That would probably cost me about $1,200. I'm not 100%... Like, I'm, that's, I'm not that committed yet. I enjoyed kayaking when I was in uh, Tarpon Springs, but not enough to spend, like, you know, over a grand. Even though I could probably not sweat it. There we go. Like, if I really wanted to, I could probably buy that stuff and pay it off within a couple of months. But, you know, with the economy being the way it is right now and, you know, bills, I don't want to chance it. It's fun, though. Like, if you've never gone kayaking, I recommend it. We did a tandem kayak, and it was, like, two people. God, these girls are... <laughs> the developers knew how to make these models. Like, these girls are, like, thick. Yeah, even Hibari's not, like, a stick figure. Like, she's got some meat on her. But Aww. Well, what's stopping us? Like she's gonna Oh, 
Yeah, hey, now, you know what they say, there's truth behind every jest, so... I don't believe your bullshit for a minute. Yeah, just give me the give me the D ranking. I know I sucked. Whatever. Are you? Okay? I, I see it coming a mile away. Yep. Thank you so much. At least I'm getting paid. All right. Fair enough. A new technique has been unlocked. Gain twice as much secret growth medicine in missions. I don't know what that stuff does. Return to ninja room. Yeah, I gotta change something real quick. This is this is a glaring oversight. This is a glaring oversight that must be set straight. It's the little things. It's just the little details. Alright, you are no longer a good guy. You are now a bad guy. So we have to change your outfit immediately. Hang on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? God damn it, where is it? <laughs> this is like Legos. It's like I saw the piece ten fucking times when I didn't need it. Where is it? I want it. Homura's outfit, crimson... Maybe it's... No, because that's Homura's, like, personal shit. I want to, like... I, I think it's supposed to say, like, Hibijo uniform. It's down here, maybe. Hanzo. Here we go, Hibijo uniform, sports. Uh, yeah, that's, that seems like a pretty good... Uh, yeah, hang on. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right, so that, uh, let's see. We're going to lose the hat. And uh, you're no longer a good shinobi, so your scarf is going as well. You're now evil as fuck. Keep the axe, though. That's fine. I had to relieve you of your weapons and accessories, Gordon Freeman. Most of them were government property. As for the axe, I think you've earned it. Let's see. Uh, what the hell is else is there? There's no, uh, there's no like leather fingerless gloves uh, in this game. I can't get make her like a real badass. You know what? Let's go shopping. Return to the dressing room. Yes. All right. Exit the dressing room. Yes. Okay. Bear with me, okay? I'll just but let's let's do some let's do let's go shopping. Oh my god. Is there any, uh, accessories? Devil's tail, leather eye patch sold out, military cap sold out, wristband. Well, I've got plenty of cash, so I don't have to worry about that. Mirai badge, Wari, Asaka, worn bloomers, worn boxers, worn panties. Uh oh, uh, we're getting a little uh getting a little uh <laughs> Ooh, bean sprout mask. What the fuck? Uh, goatee? What? Should I, should I make her like evil Cartman? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, we're gonna make her evil Cartman. Sexual harassment? What? Go to go to dressing room. This is gonna be amazing. If it's what I think it is, she's gonna be like evil Cartman. All right, hang on. Okay. Here we go. Change. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Accessories. Evil goatee. Where is it? Head accessory. Face accessory. Here we go. Oh, come on. It's nothing like what I wanted. No. It's not the same. Remove. Damn it. Turn to the dressing room. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll just we'll just stick with this. It's just not the same. It's supposed to be like a like you know, supposed to go you know like a go like a normal goatee, not that shit. 
All right, let's just leave it be. Ah! You guys are my bestest friends in the whole wide world. Herman, what the fuck is wrong with you? All right, now what? No, why does it keep going to chapter two? Go to chapter three, goddammit. All right, uh, Habijo instruction. So Hibari is changing schools. Perhaps it's a ploy to gather intelligence, but is she ready for that? Uh, we'll see. Uh oh. Princess Tan line. There we go. That that's much better. Now now she looks like she actually belongs. ひばりより先に外に出ましたけど。そうか。では、先に修行を始めよう。まず他人図相手の実践を行う。不利な状況の切り抜け方を体に覚え込ませるんだ。ひばり、お前からやってみろ。Damn it, I wanted that Cartman going. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, here we go. Alright, and let's go. No, no, where, where's butt? Where's butt stop? But yeah, getting back to what I was saying earlier about the kayaking, I mean, it's fun. But just, you know, it's it's more or less like, a, like you know, unless you're really into it or, like, you know, it's basically a rich person spike sport. You really have to, like, have the cash to fork over for proper equipment because I'm not a big fan of, like, getting, like, a Bobo kayak. Call me crazy, but I'd rather not sink. But, you know, maybe I'll get lucky. I mean, I've been looking on, like, Facebook Marketplace and Nextdoor, and I'm just waiting for the day when some, you know, some affluent older per person around here is like moving or has to go overseas and it's like hey i'm trying to get rid of my kayak shit you want to come get it for like a couple hundred bucks it's like sure then i'll be in but then afterwards i'd have to go in like oh what the f whoa where how'd they do that but then afterwards i'd also have to get a rack for my car and that's probably going to be like another 300 bucks a really good one like i have a bike rack for my car by Thule. and i pretty much trust that brand at this point so yeah it'd probably be the cheapest I could get at this point would probably be like $700. It is what it is. But, you know, further down the line, who knows? I mean, for Christ's sakes, I found a $300 water dispenser in my dumpster. Brand new. So crazier things have happened. I don't want to... I don't want to transform just yet. I want to save that for... Well, you know what? Fuck it. What else did I do today? So yeah, I went over to St. Augustine, and I just kind of spent the day there. I had some uh, Cuban food. There's like this nice Cuban restaurant called the Columbia. And I had a cafe con leche and a Cuban sandwich. And I checked out this really cool comic book store. I'm, dude, I have, this comic book store was the shit. Normally when I go to comic book stores, they have like maybe like a couple of Japanese import figures. These people have like the fucking, like the one-fourth scale freak bunny figures at like $400. They had, like, a lot of Japanese anime figures, and I was, like, shocked. Nice selection of uh, Diamond Select stuff, too. Like, they had a they had a Thanos bust that I was, like, this close to buying. Like, it was a Diamond Select. Like, one, I think it was, like, a 1 8 scale. It was nice. But it was, like, you know, it was almost $200, and I was like, eh. Eh. I'm on vacation right now, and I'm spending enough money, you know? Maybe for Christmas. Who knows? Is that it? Oh, now, okay, now we gotta go in here. Also, I... As I stated earlier, I will be streaming more Senran Kagura uh, games after this is finished. Uh, props to... I forget the guy... I forget the person's name, but there was a... Uh, someone who replied in one of my YouTube videos. Uh, gave me, like, the rundown of, like, you know, the, the chronological order of the games. 
And so, whoever, I, again, sorry if I forgot your name, but thank you for doing that, because uh, I have, like, 90% of those games. There's, like, I think Crimson Burst is the only one I'm missing. So hopefully that's on Steam. If not, I don't know. I'll probably just have to skip it. Yeah, let's just... I think the, uh, Crimson is next. I hope it's not. Because I'd ri I like to jump straight away into another game rather than hunting it down. But if if it's not, I'll just have to you know move on to the next game. I just I'm trying to like to not trying to not miss any plot elements. Okay. I know I'm fighting like shit, but uh, you know it, it is what it is. No. Oh. So what else can I talk about? Because like, I, I I hate these like quiet pauses, but it's difficult when you don't you don't have you don't have any chat members. I know how depressing is that, right? So I'm trying to like come up with topics to talk about, so it's not just like me. It's not just gameplay and like me breathing heavily into the microphone like a fucking pervert. But uh, what else? Um, so as I said in the previous Senran Senran Kigura stream, totally off topic from the game. Uh, there's a new Half-Life 2 mod call, coming out called Entropy Zero Two. I will be streaming that when that comes out. Day one, more than likely. Uh, if I can get it fucking working. A lot of the... Again, as I stated before in the stream, games have been kind of finicky lately. Like, this game crashed like on startup a couple of times. Black Mesa did, and it normally doesn't do that. I mean, it's got me quite concerned. I'm going to have to go through my computer and probably just uh, maybe, um, I don't know. I take good care of my PC. I don't like go to like any, uh, you know, questionable sites. I clean on, on, a regular, on the regular. But I don't know. I hope it doesn't mean that this thing is starting to slowly lose its fucking mind. I'm, a, I'm attached to this tower. I built it myself with a tiny bit of help. But, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's like my this thing's my baby. And I want to take good care of it. Even though it's long in the tooth as far as, like, modern games are concerned, like, this is, again, this is my main go-to. I could easily stream games on my laptop, but it's just, you know, it's a whole day I don't want to spend. This is when all the work's done for me on this thing. And also, I would like to start streaming VR eventually, but we'll just have to stream again. It's a whole other bag of cats I don't want to open. Oh, my God. Looks like a bar's trying to pop a squat. Terrible. <laughs> Girls get it done! Boys reference. Yeah, I was at the comic store today and I found like two volumes of the boys uh, compendiums, but it was like five and six. I want to start reading it, but, uh, you know, I just... They didn't have like the first two. I'll have to look it up on Amazon. Wow, Omura is actually giving us a break. It's like, take a break. Like, that's all unusually generous of you. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I... Okay, it's official. I am the worst Kagura player in the history of the game. When the game was the fucking game. Ugh. Doc Brown's root beer soothed my pain. Oh my god, so horrible. Yep, keep going. Let's get more Ds. I look up at the towering castle keep, and it's hard not to feel a crushing sense of intimidation. This is the stronghold of Habijo Academy. I'm brimming over with impatience. The receiver in my ear continues to emit a small beep? What? I let Mirai go for a reason. I flicked a little plant called a remora flower onto her back. 
The Remora flower is extremely sticky and will cling to almost anything, much like its namesake. It's also remarkable at camouflage, with its color shifting to match whatever it's stuck to. I planted a small tracker on this specific plant, and it's working like a charm. Suddenly the beeping grows more rapid, which means Mirai is closing in. I immediately conceal myself within the shadow of a tree. Moments later I see Mirai open, appear with Omura and two of the others. But there's no sign of Hibari or Haruka. Who is this? I wait with bated breath for them to move on. Since Haruka isn't with them, that must mean she's with Abari. I'd spotted Haruka and Abari walking together earlier. Were I at my best, I would have confronted Haruka then then and there. But in my current condition, I'd likely not survive the encounter. Oh, this is I, this might be Yagyu. If not for this injury, yeah, it's Yagyu. I pull the bandages away from my skin. It feels wet and sticky. Ugh. My hand is stained dark red. My fight with Mirai had caused the wound to reopen. I'll just have to wait until Hibari's alone. I grind my teeth, thinking of how shameless I'd been. I wouldn't have said what I'd said to the others if I'd known how things would turn out. Regret floods my mind. Back at the hospital, shortly after my fight with Mirai, I fit the earpiece into my ear and hear the faint beeping. The beeps are growing farther apart. That means Mirai is moving away from the Shinobi Hospital. If I don't hurry, I'll lose sight of her. As I turn to leave the hospital, the others come in. As I survey their faces, I grow exceedingly angry. My anger drives them back a step. I'd always known Hibari would do something reckless if a situation like this ever arose. If they hadn't left Hibari on her own, Hibija wouldn't have taken her. They blocked my way to the door. Ikaruga's voice is thick with concern, but to me it only sounds like meddling. Katsuragi's never been very sharp, but she could possibly have thought that was my actual plan. I snap at Asuka's words. Ooh. Asuka has no retort, she simply hangs her head. I push Asuka away. I hear her calling me, but I leave the hospital room without looking back. Thinking on it now, I know I went too far. The blame doesn't rest solely with them, it's my own fault that I was wounded to begin with. If I hadn't been hurt, Hibari wouldn't have felt so guilty. That's why I have to do this. I have to save Hibari from Hibijo. I bind a strip of fabric around the wound, pulling it tight. I can't lose any more blood. I grip my teeth and refocus. I'll save her. I swear it. She's irreplaceable. I can't be without her. If I ever lost her, I'm afraid to be alone. Nothing's ever terrified me more than solitude. It's not so bad. I mean, no one bothers you. I mean... Look, it goes both ways. Ever since that day, ever since I lost my little sister, aw, oh, okay, so it's, it runs deeper. She was so adorable and she disappeared right out from under my eyes. Suddenly and without warning, lost in my memories of her, I dropped my guard. Oh shit! A sword comes slicing down at me. I dodge in the nick of time. Uh oh. A solitary lesser shinobi stands blade at the ready. The shinobi whistles for her friends. Ten of them, twenty, more of them keep on gathering, oh god. If I were at my best, I'd have options, fight or flee. But I'm not even at half my strength. I toss a bit of special pain-killing grass into my mouth, my mouth. Bitterness runs across my tongue. I bring out my umbrella and drop into a defensive stance. Fleeing is not an option, I will fight to the death. And if my death gives Hibari the chance to escape, I wish I could apologize to everyone for what I said. I wish I could talk to Hibari one last time. Numerous as my regrets are, I set them aside and focus on my breathing. Once it's at the pace I need, I kick my right leg out. I slash, slash, and slash again. I stay on the move, never in one place long enough for my foes to draw a beat on me. So many enemies stand against me, yet one by one I whittled them down their num I whittled down their numbers. In my current condition, however, such tactics are risky. The more violent my movements, the wider my wound opens. I feel myself growing faint from the blood loss. Even so, I continue to wield my umbrella until the very last possible moment. When my vision blurs, 
I won't be beaten. Hibari, I have to rescue her. I can't give up. My knee hits the ground. I finally reached the end of my strength. The lesser shinobi moved to surround me. It's over. This is it. I close my eyes and accept the inevitable. An image of Hibari floats in the back of my mind. It was raining that day. On my way to the Hanzo Academy entrance ceremony, I looked out at the schoolyard and saw a girl playing with no umbrella. That was Hibari. She was stomping around in the puddles with rain boots on, laughing merrily. To my surprise, I found myself transfixed. She reminded me so much of my sister. No, it wasn't that she looked like her. But for a split second, I truly believed my sister had come back. She hadn't, obviously. My sister can never come back. She didn't survive the traffic accident. Hibari noticed my presence and ran over to me, smiling. I didn't know what to say, so I just hemmed and hawed for a moment. She took my hand and started to run. Even now, I still remember the warmth of her touch. I hear the sound of a sword striking a kunai. I open my eyes, and there I see... Asuka, Ikaruga, and Katsuragi. All of the lesser shinobi have been neatly dispatched. Asuka gives an innocent smile. Ikaruga approaches and tends to my injuries. Katsuragi looks as carefree as ever. They exchange looks back and forth. Yeah, they're your running crew. I mean... Asuka's words lay it out, plain to see. I'd effectively rejected our friendship, and yet here they are telling me that. I can't hold a candle to her. I can't compete with someone that pure of spirit. But maybe that means she can save me from my own stubbornness. I tell her what I know, and she tells me she's going to rescue Hibari alone. One person can infiltrate the castle keep more easily than three or four. As she departs for the keep, I speak softly to her steadily shrinking back. Almost as though she could hear my voice, she quickly looks back at me and gives me a thumbs up. So, I mean, are, are, are we are we raiding the female dormitories? Like, is this really what we're doing? Yep, we are. Yep, very ninja thing to do, announce your presence. Oh, you have got to be shitting me, son. This, all right, well, at least the game fucking went a little longer than usual. We're not done, though. I'm not, I'm not finished with this shit. Oh, is the game, what? Is the game still going? This is weird. I see that the loading thing is still going. Can I put this? Can I still play the game? It's like loading, but like, I, there's like this, uh, application error screen like in the corner and then like it's still loading the game so like all right let me get this a second this might i might be able to cheat this hmm so how's your day <laughs> um yeah all right i'll give this like 10 more seconds and then we'll see what happens i might have to exit and re-enter the game i don't know Hmm. Okay, yeah, this thing's this thing's taking a shit officially. All right, hang on. Let me get out of here. Let me just uh, okay, just hit okay. Wow! Oh my god. Okay, so the shit show continues. Apparently, uh, the game crashed, and then Streamlabs crashed. So I'm gonna have to edit this together in. YouTube, I'm sorry, God, 
I'm going to have to edit this together in Movie Maker for YouTube, and then I'm just going to have to split this into parts on Streamlabs. Okay, again, why am I saying Streamlabs, goddammit? I'm going to have to edit this and split this up on Twitch. So, for, for reference, if you're watching this on Twitch, this is part two of the stream. Because the game crashed again, and then Streamlabs crashed. So, let's just jump back into it, and I'm just going to have to deal with this shit later. Ugh, how annoying. I just want to play the goddamn game. Ah! Ah! Marvelous. And, like, Streamlabs is crashing, too. I don't know what the fuck is going on. This is, like, getting... Again, very concerning. Because, like, I have games crashing, I have Streamlabs crashing... And this, like, was not, like, previously this didn't happen before. Or very rarely did this happen. Now it's becoming a little more prevalent, and I don't know. I hope my computer's okay. I, I mean, my temperatures are normal. Everything's fine. I just, I don't know. Very odd. All right, just continue. Please don't tell me it crashed, like, at some, like, point where I've got to replay it again. All right, let's just continue. Okay, good. Can we skip this, please? Oh, no, it's good. I, I got it. I... Oh, thank God. Okay, I forgot. There's start button. Thank you, um, Umura, for allowing me to skip it. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Okay, I can play the game. Thank you. Please don't take a shit. I beg you. Okay, good. And there we go. Yeah, Asuka is like a little more easier to control. Hibari's just like, you know, fun to play, but she's like all over the place. Like, I can start, I, can, I actually look like I'm playing decently, as opposed to just Hibari running around like butt stopping people. If they didn't know I'm here before, they know I'm here now. Maybe it's, maybe timing has to do with it, too, like, as far as score does. Like, if I just rush through this quicker, I can get a better score. What the fuck is the point of this area? So, yeah, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I have it stitched together through Movie Maker. But on Twitch, it's going to be... I'm going to have to split it up in parts because the game has crashed, like, twice now this evening. I don't know why. I'm going to have to go... I don't know. I'm just going to have to go through my PC and just see what the hell's wrong. I mean, the game runs fine. It just, I'm getting, like, application errors and shit. No, maybe I got. Maybe I need to get up... Maybe I got to get updates. I don't know. Wow, there's a lot of shit. Is there, any, is there anything worth doubt me being down here? There better be, like, some, like... There better be a good secret down here. I'm telling you right now. Like, nude mode or something. I could not stream that, though. That would end up... Uh, that would... Twitch would not uh, take kindly to that. You know, but I can blow people's heads off and have, like, you know, innards and guts splayed out all day long. You know, it's the American way. Like, you can show a person, like, literally exploding into a pile of guts, but you show a nipple and you're banned for life. These uh these ninjas don't look very evil. Like they they just look like, like they just look goofy. Oh, this, is this like the Ringling Brothers Academy? Not Hanzo or Habijo or whatever the fuck.
Your ninja instructor is Bozo. Today we'll learn how to hide from strangers. 30 hours in the gravel pit. Uh -huh. Now where am I? Wait. Wait, is that a dragon? No. Oh, that's a that, it, it, that's a that's a snack. Giant snack statue. Let me see. Wow, look at the scale of this thing. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's kind of intimidating. Where is everybody? This is a little too quiet for me. Oh, now there we go. Okay. You guys are getting me worried. You had me worried for a second, guys. Is this like an army of bird persons? Now we get hit. No, no, I, I fucking saw that coming 10 miles away. Oh. All right, come on. Come on, guys. Now I'm getting uh, flashbacks of Onimusha, and that uh, that that boss, that that fucking giant boss on the roof. There we go. Why are you not dying? What the fuck is going on with this? Love what you did to wear leather and an eye patch. Yeah, it's I need I wanted my girls to be a little more uh a little more badass. Like they're, they're like I mean it's how do I put this? I know I'm playing a cutesy anime game, but they need to look a little more evil. Like they've been through some shit. Like, you know, Asuka's seen like two wars. You know, Habari's seen like about three or four. Like they've they've seen their fair share of like horrible shit. Is this it? I put all my girls in pajamas. <laughs> that works too. It's sleepy time. And wait for it. Girls get it done. Boys reference. <laughs> I was going to do originally, like, all in bikinis, but I was like, nah, that's too on the nose. 
Oh, there's this. Here's this fucking Benedict Arnold. We really shouldn't rescue you, but you know, look, I got friends that are. Look, I I'm being forced to do this, so just, just come along, all right? Just, just, I'll forgive it. Just, let's go. Get in the car. Habari with a grand axe. Yeah, she need. I, I figured, she needs it. You should see the other girls. <laughs> I just recently changed her outfit because she joined the the evil ninjas, and she was still in her her other outfit. And just I wanted, you know, I'm a I'm a stickler for details. Damn, these girls are thick. I keep fucking I'm like sweating looking at them. God damn it! Now I'm like there we go. All right, give me the shitty rating. I've been getting D's all night. Yep! Fucking knew it! Knew it! Yeah, yeah, just give me the money. I'm like, I have not gotten, like, a good rating in, like, two weeks. It is, I am, no matter how well I play, it just doesn't stop. The hits don't stop on this stream, I don't know why. Essay from Yagyu's little sister. Eh, I'll read that later, fuck it. Yagyu fighting solo Hanzo arc. Alright, why not? Outdoor, ooh, free missions? How, oh, oh, I read outdoor exercise and I got kind of excited for a second. I'm like, eh, it's not what I think it is. Next mission, let's keep it going. Oh, God, this, this, see, this is the only part of the game I don't like, or like the least, is the visual novel shit, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, let me get in visual novel mode. Let me shake off real quick. Let me get some, some Doc Browns here. Mm. All right. All right. Visual novel mode. Here we go. I try to sound as cheerful as possible, but Hibari's still down in the dumps. She clearly, She's clearly been acting funny ever since we got back from Hibijo. Even Ikoruga can't make her smile. She's not like her old self at all. Everyone can sense it, and it's really done a number on the mood in, in the ninja room. The ninja room. Master Korea walks into the room, exhaustion on his face. Well, that's how he always looks. He sighs at us. Uh, he doesn't answer. Well, so much for curiosity. We all slip out of the room. Once we're outside, Asuka, Ikaruga, and Yagyu walk off in separate directions. I get how they feel. I'd rather be alone right now, too. Well, excuse me, princess. I walk off campus and wander around. I lose track of time as I roam the town. Then, before I know it, the sun's starting to set. Just as I mutter that, something flies at me out of nowhere. What was that, a gunshot? Is it... uh, down on the ground, now! Damn it, I was daydreaming and someone got the drop on me. My try-hard save got corrupted due to a storm, but still play it because I enjoy the whole story and most of all laws of physics being defied. Yeah, I mean, again, I... I... I'm sorry to hear that happen, man. But yeah, it's. I mean, I'm. I'm new to the series. I've never played this before. I have like vague ideas of who these characters are, and basically what happened is that I got all of the games in the summer sale, and now I'm like going through it. So like you know, this is, and me being a new streamer, it's like an opportunity to kind of like, like, like plow through all of the games that I've bought in like the last couple of months. But I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, it's, it's like, it's like goofy anime shit at its finest, and. Yeah, the laws being defied. I would, I look. At the end of the day, I am more than happy to get motorboated by anime girls. I am not too old. No one's ever too old for that. But yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. It's a good game. Uh, I was daydreaming and someone got the drop on me. I'm dead meat. Now what? But in that same instant, Hotoni, eh? a mass of fluff poops right into my arms. Perfectly round body, cute little brown eyes. Any way you look at it, it can only be choked. Ch Choco? Who? Choco? Uh, pardon me? Who's this? I hug him with all my might. 
Choco wags his tail like there's no tomorrow. Oh, it's a dog. It's a doggo. Oh, thanks for the follow, Lacey. Appreciate that, man. Thank I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Uh, if you want to stick around later, I'm going to be doing Onimusha 3 Demon Siege. We'll be finishing that up tonight. Uh, but yeah, we got some more good stuff coming up. So yeah, again, thanks for the follow, dude. Choco. Chocolate. Tears gush from my eyes and he laps them all up. I've missed you. I've missed you. Oh, oh she's talking. Okay. Shut up, double. I hug him and time seems to freeze for a moment. Aw. He jumps back out of my arms and starts running somewhere. I hurry after him. He looks back, his tail fluttering back and forth. I think he wants me to keep on following him. No way. Couldn't be. No chance. It hits me all at once. I know where he's trying to take me. Only one place it could be. He's taking me to mom and dad. Uh-oh. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I chase after him as fast as I can. Over mountains, through valleys, across rivers. Over the hills and through the woods to mom and dad's house we go. Running, running, running. Finally, he stops in a remote mountain forest. What I see there is a small village hidden away from everything. Sure, bro, and I'm a girl. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god, how, how... Oh, no, I'm so used to... Oh, no. Oh, I got my genders mixed up. It's okay, my middle name pops out more than my first name. I get it a lot. Okay, well, well, thank you, Miss Lacey J. I appreciate the follow. Oh, no. Oh, how embarrassing. Fuck! My fuck... Oh, I, okay, I'm just gonna turn the stream off. Fuck it, I'm done! Shriveling. I feel like... I feel like 10, 10 inches tall right now. Okay, <clears throat> shake it off. Shake it off. Uh, there's a field ahead with eggplant. God damn it! <laughs> Alright. Alright, hang on. Get 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 it together, okay? You're in visual novel mode right now. Okay. <clears throat> there's a field ahead with eggplants, tomatoes, and cucumbers. And past that. Past that field. Oh. I get it once a day, no biggie. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to add to the pile, but I, I appreciate your patience. I see my parents. Uh-oh. There they are, weeding the crops. My eyes overflow with tears. They trail down my cheeks. Oh. Chaka runs around my feet. It's like he's telling me to hurry up and go to them. But I stop myself. Choco. I understand everything. I know why my parents left me. It's because they failed a mission as Shinobi. What? When Shinobi fail a critical mission, they're expected to pay with their lives. But my parents didn't do that. After they failed their mission, they abandoned me at home and disappeared. Oh. Since then, they've been so-called renegade Shinobi, secretly living here in this village. They left me to protect me from whatever punishment might still come their way. If I go to them now, I'd put us all at risk, and their sacrifice would be for nothing. Oh, so she can't, like, go and see him? Ah, uh, that sucks. I gave him a big hug. Aw. It's enough for me just to know where my parents are, to know they're safe. How can I get to live with them again? I'll have to become the most elite good shinobi I can be. If I can rise high enough in the ranks, maybe I can gain enough influence to have them both pardoned. So I have to grow str Getting stronger! Strong enough to hold them again. I know, I'm ruining- I'm- I'm ruining a tender moment, I know. Come on now, let's get going. I pull away from Chaco. He gives me a puzzled look, then turns and runs back into the field. I have to get out of here and fast. Before my parents notice me. I wipe the tears from my eyes. I, I, I know, I'm shitting. I'm shitting on a tender moment. I need to stop. When I get back to the ninja room, everyone's standing at the door looking confused. I strain to hear them, and I can just make out Master Korea talking to Hibari. Uh, I don't hear Hibari say anything back. Why does... Yeah, I know. Why does... Why am I making Korea sound like Splinter? I made another funny! <laughs> I don't hear Hibari say anything back. I get the impression the whole conversation's gone like this. I open the door to the ninja room and walk in. Wow, that's an attitude right there. Yagi walks into the ninja room behind me. 
Ikaruga and Asuka both walk in after her. Super secret, secret squirrel ninja art scroll. Master Korea finally gives in to our combined forces. Master Korea stands at the podium and looks out at us. Uh, what? Suspend it! Oh, what the fuck? Really? Come on! As if on cue, we all go pale. Wow! Fuck you, dude. Ma Master Korea nods. Uh, bro. Bro. Asuka slumps and I give her a big slap on the back. I can't afford to give up on being a shinobi. It's the only chance I have of ever being with my parents again. Asuka's face lights up. Everyone's motivation is maxed out now. Except for Hibari, she still looks gloomy as hell. Despite our encouragement, she doesn't react at all. She snaps with a whisper. A twinge of sadness flickers over her face. Yeah, like she saw like legions and legions and legions of ninjas. Like it's like, like Hanzo apparently is like really like understaffed and there's not that many kids there. And then she went over to the other school and it's like, it's like just, it's like the Persians from 300. There's just like fucking legions of them. It's just endless waves of them. Oh, and they're also friendly, too. I can tell she's been wanting to say all that for a while, especially when she starts tearing up, tearing up. Why does love bloom on a battlefield? The ninja room goes quiet. I can't think of anything to say. I've never thought of the Hibijo students as anything other than opponents before. But now that she mentions it, it makes sense. Maybe good and evil really are just a matter of perspective. Even my parents are no different. Renegade Shinobi are evil. Evil. But I don't think of my parents that way. In fact, they did what they felt was right to protect me. The Hibijo are the same way. I'm sure they're just doing what they think is right. Mm. <laughs> It wasn't Ikaruga or Yagyu who broke the silence, but Asuka. Asuka just stares at Hibari. I get it. Asuka has an idea, I know she does. She must want to tell Hibari something through training. Somewhere along the line, Asuka discovered a knack for leadership. I decided to let her handle this. Mm-hmm. Well, I still stand by my, my theory that there's just, like, fucking, like, just endless legions of them, and they can't handle all of them. Hey! You're back with us now! Take that Nazi fucking uniform right off! You're doing great, by the way. I'm on Lurk, but I got you on the phone. Oh, oh yeah. It's funny you said that because, um... Uh... Okay, so let me give you a quick rundown of how I stream. So I'm not an uber elite streamer with like 14 hours plus a day MLG strats. Um, I'm playing on my TV and I have my chat is on my phone. So who knows? Maybe one day and when I'm 75 years old and I have like four, 53 followers, I'll get a proper setup. But yeah, in the meantime, it's a, it's a very unorthodox setup uh, in the grand retro in the grand scheme of being a streamer. So I'm, you're not alone on the phone situation. I kind of like it, actually. I'm like, I'm sitting in my chair in my living room. I've got the game on the TV. My phone's right here. It's kind of like, um, I want to say it's like not very intrusive. It's actually kind of like chill. I'd actually, 
If I had to get like a setup, I'd probably not want it. I'd, I'd actually like to keep it this way if I could. Anyway, that's my rant. <laughs> Korea, Korea, I know that this is tempting, but eyes forward, okay? I know what you're looking at right now, but she's like 16, okay? So just chill. I get it. Korea, eyes forward. Don't look at it. Don't, do not, do not give in to temptation. Oh god, this is like this is like this whole scene is like straight out of a hentai graphic novel. Oh my god, this is t oh no, I don't. What have I done? What have I done with this leather? I mean, it's all, the only thing it's missing right now is the tentacles and the drool. Oh, am I gonna fight? Am I, am I fighting the old man? Oh god, oh no, oh no. Watch him destroy me. Oh god. No, please. Please no. <laughs> My body's not ready, Kuria Sensei. Oh what the fuck 